The Senate Committee on Electoral Matters has promised that no section of the 2022 Electoral Act will be ignored in order to ensure a smooth, fair and credible election come 2023. Vice Chairman of the Committee, Olalekon Mustafa, made this note when he led a delegation to pay a courtesy visit to the your state government. Olaido Yowali was there. The delegation was received by the Deputy Governor of Oyo State, Adebayo Lawal, and other top government functionaries in the state. We will take inputs from... In their words, they have come to enlighten residents in the state on the effective role the Electoral Act 2022 would play during the 2023 general elections. Meetings. Leader of the delegation while speaking says a major significance of the law is that it has returned power to the people noting that the guidelines would be strictly adhered to. So we have come around to enlighten our people and to let them know that uh, uh, this electoral act has actually returned power to the people. It is now the people that will pick, select or elect whoever they want to represent them. It is no longer at the whims and caprices of uh, the so-called Godfathers Committee. I think... Uh... In his response, the deputy governor of Oyo State declared absolute support for the implementation of the Electoral Act 2022, adding that the law was introduced at the right time. Now, the sensitization is not uh, just enough by this uh, committee. I think uh, INEC will take it uh, upon itself to do a little more than uh, what the uh, Senate committee is doing. Uh, because uh, we must uh, have the template across the nation, uh, give the impression that uh, even if people are thinking that uh, they will rig election or snatch ballot boxes and this and that, it's no longer going to be possible. The deputy governor advised political parties and other stakeholders to embark on massive enlightenment for the people on the importance of the new electoral act. Olaidio Yewale, TVC News, Ibadan.